Back now with new details on the U.S. troops who were killed in the drone strike in Jordan. U.S. officials have released the soldiers' names as the Biden administration plans to respond without escalating tensions. ABC's Rena Roy has the latest. President Biden facing a new challenge in the Middle East as his administration discusses how to respond to the deadly drone attack in Jordan that killed three U.S. service members and wounded more than 40 others. <laughs> Yes. Biden blaming radical Iran-backed militants. The president's been crystal clear. We will respond decisively to any aggression. The White House has been tight-lipped about their plan, but U.S. officials making it clear this attack is fundamentally different, and so the response will be two, saying it will be multi-leveled and sustained over time. I don't think we need a wider war in the Middle East. That's not what I'm looking for. I'm not looking to escalate here. This attack over the weekend was escalatory. Make no mistake about it. And it requires a response. It comes as we learn the identities of those killed. 46-year-old Sergeant William Rivers, a 13-year veteran. 23-year-old Specialist Brianna Moffitt, whose mother says always lit up a room. And 24-year-old Specialist Kennedy Sanders. I always had a big smile, big heart. A young lady that had a lot, of, a lot of dreams and goals. U.S. officials tell ABC News the attack happened early Sunday morning at Tower 22, a remote U.S outpost in the Jordanian desert. The Pentagon says the soldiers, many army reservists from an engineering unit, were asleep in their beds when the strike hit. An explosives-laden drone bypassing U.S. air defenses. Officials telling ABC News initial reports indicate no one tried to shoot it down, mistakenly believing it was a U.S. surveillance drone. On Monday, Biden convened an urgent meeting with his national security team in the Situation Room. More of those meetings likely happening in the coming days. Rena Roy, ABC News, New York.